That was dumb. And I was on like autopilot. That was the most, that was the stupidest quad feed I've ever got. I want to introduce you guys to my new friend, Stodgier Zebra 06. Say hello to everyone, Zebra. Okay. Do you have any hobbies besides, you, you know, just s sitting in corners all game? Oh, you take care packages too. Have you ever just felt like this spiritual connection with somebody? Whether it's just like in a video game or even just in public? Like when you're playing Call of Duty or like League of Legends or just anything like that. Anything that's kind of like team synergy based. You ever just get into that lobby with that one person and you guys just click? You guys just have like this natural synergy between the two of you and it just feels like fucking destiny? Or even in real life? Have you ever thought about the way that you made friends? Like how did you make the friends that you made now? You go and say like, oh yeah, I met this person so and so at a party and I guess I asked them a couple questions. But like, no, how did you actually meet them? Like, what was going through your head when you thought about speaking to them for the first time? It's the greatest thing in the world when you can just go and say some stupid shit and they can just add on to it. Like, you thought that one thing that you would say would just, like, kind of just weird the person out, but no, they just actually fucking love it. Never just play this game and you're running up towards somebody, he's walking this way, you're walking this way, and as you're walking up to each other, both of you are calculating in your head, you're like, okay, so I'm gonna go right and hopefully he goes left. And you just sit there and hope that you calculated and thought about it enough in your head that you chose the correct way to go. You just sit there and pray and hope that they didn't pick the same direction as you, so you just end up walking into each other. So you walk up and of course they pick the same fucking way to go. You're like, alright, I'm gonna go right and he's gonna go left. Of course they pick the same exact way as you and they just start mirroring you somehow. They unintentionally just just start copying your movements. You decide to go right, he decides to go left. You're like, okay, so we're just gonna switch it up. I'm gonna go left this time, and then he's like, okay, well, I'm gonna go right this time. And you just end up doing this awkward fucking sambo with each other. Complete strangers just meeting each other for three seconds, and they start dancing. You're standing there in the middle of public like, we sit there, we just try to outthink each other, and in the process, we end up thinking the same thing. Or the people that consider themselves to be weird, a lot of people consider themselves to be weird, so does it really make you weird, or does it make you normal? Eventually, after you're done dancing with each other, you're just kind of like, you know what? All right, I'm going this way, you're going that way. You try like all these like different body motions. Like you try to put your hand there. And you're like, all right, I'm going this way. And they're like, all right, I'm going this way. And then you just awkwardly slide past each other. You feel like you just finished completing a greeting from a modern day dance crew. The number one thing that I can recommend if you want to avoid doing sambo dances with strangers in the middle of a fucking mall is to just walk straight. But one downside to that thought is that if the other person is thinking walk straight, you guys are going to, you guys are either going to touch dick, tits, lips, Something.